What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, today we're taking an early look at the LEGO Infinity Saga I Am Groot set. Now this comes out August 1st, but LEGO sent it to me early so I could make a review for you guys, so thanks to LEGO for that, but all thoughts and opinions in this video are my own. Now this is pretty cool because Groot in the MCU, when he's in his baby form of course, is 10.25 inches tall, and that's basically exactly how tall this is. So we have the Thor hammer, and now we have Groot that is an exact size scale from the movie. Pretty darn cool. Now this set will be $54.99 when it comes out and it has 476 pieces. I think that that's a pretty decent price point uh, as far as the pieces are concerned but this video will explore if it's worth that price. So let's start taking a closer look. So we get this very cool little plate here, the UCS style plate, and all of the details say I am Groot. That's pretty funny. We also get an awesome mix volume one, which you can flip around and see it says volume two on the other side. I think that's cool that it doesn't make you choose which one is your favorite, because you get both, depending on which side you decide to display outward. Now that brings us to Groot. He is super, super poseable. We've got shoulder joints, an elbow joint, a wrist joint on both hands, three fingers and a thumb. Uh, this side has a little twig on the thumb. We'll take a closer look at all that in a minute, but he can be moved at the hips, he can be moved at the knee, and the knee kind of serves as an ankle joint too, to some respect. The head can be turned a little bit. You can move it down to the side. The mouth is in a fixed position though, so you can't close his mouth. It's just exactly the way it looks, but you can turn it side to side. You can see they used big shield pieces for his eyes. Let's take a closer look at that and that's printed on there, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure people will find a unique mock use for those, but yeah, there's stickers all over it. We've got one on the back, some on his actual back, and all around. I want to take a closer look at each of the sections, though, but I did just want to give a quick overview here. All right, so let's start at the feet. We've got some stickers there, and I do like that there's some little twigs and leaves growing off of his feet in various places. The one thing, though, is that if you just stand him upright, you just put the feet there, I really hate how this twig and leaf right there kind of crosses over onto the other foot. Maybe that's me being a little bit too nitpicky, but I just wish that this was facing outward like it is on this side. That's a beautiful thing of Lego, though, is I could easily change that. But for the sake of showing you what you would get if you buy this set, I wanted to be uh, up front and show you that. It does stand pretty well, but you can see that he does wobble just a little bit. He's kind of top-heavy. Heavy, but we'll talk about that momentarily. So at the torso, you can swivel him at his hips. It doesn't really come apart though, so that's uh, good. You know, I, yeah, I don't think it really comes apart. So you can move the arms quite a bit at the shoulders. You've got elbow joints, you've got wrist joints. And of course you could actually probably have him hold some things in his hands too, because they are uh, pretty agile and poseable. Now this set does have its fair share of stickers. I mean, just here we have one, two, three, four, five, just on the front. And then as we move to the back, I love these little shoulder pieces too, by the way, we have two more stickers back here. So it's pretty cool. It does look good. I like this little vine piece here, but um, yeah, I don't know. It, it just maybe seems a little too skinny on the arms. And as you can see, as I move him, he keeps wibbling and wobbling on me. So it's a sturdy build in the sense that it's not going to fall apart while you play with it. But if you put too much pressure, I mean, he does definitely move very easily at all of his joints. Now that brings us up to the head. You know, we talked about the eyes and the mouth being fixed. You can move the head a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit. You can see up top what that looks like. It's very creative how they got the shaping of the head too. And uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely looks good. I'm gonna say it even looks movie accurate as far as Lego is concerned, but there's just something about this that doesn't sit right with me with it being kind of wibbly and wobbly and if you push too hard, his knees buckle and... I just think that this is an awesome set to set up on your shelf and display, but not really to do much more than that with. I, you know, I wouldn't, like if I were a kid, for example, I'd be scared to take this on a car ride because, you know, pieces may be lost or I wouldn't want to play with it too hard, I guess is my point. Anyways, let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts here. Well, guys, that brings us to the end of this review. I think this is a very cool set. I think a lot of people are going to like it but I don't think it's a set for me. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have gotten to review this, but I just don't think that it would be worth $55 uh, if I were to have bought this on a store shelf. So while this was really fun to review, I do think it's gonna look good on my shelf. 
I think that that's just about all there is to do with it. I don't really know if I was a kid if I would play with this because it's a little bit fragile. And I don't know. I'm just curious to hear what you guys think at this point. Do you think this is worth $55? Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.